Hey everybody, Drew here with Yamaha. We're at the Lifetime Sea Otter Classic 2024. It's our friend Chris over at the SRAM Rock Shocks booth. He's going to be walking us through the rear suspension of the YDX Moro 07 and the YDX Moro 07 Special Edition. There's nothing better than having balanced suspension, both with the fork and the rear shock, marrying it together as one complete package. Um, Chris, take us through this rear shock and, and share with us some of the, the riding benefits and how to adjust it and kind of the features of it. Yeah, totally. What we are looking to do as, at Rock Shocks to provide for the rider is suspension components that are going to disappear into the rider and allow the rider to be focused on the trail. Because at the end of the day, you're out there to have fun, do the best you can do on the trail, and get the most out of every single ride you're going to be on. And having a balanced front to rear suspension experience is going to do that. 100%. <clears throat> So as we as we talked previously on the fork, there's a lot of setup details that are available, and we have even more opportunities to properly set up the rear shock. This rear shock has an air spring, um, and so you're going to adjust that air spring based on your body weight. And then it also has a rebound adjuster. It's this uh, nice big bezel on the top of the shock, and that allows you to match your rebound feel to the air spring setup based on your body uh, on your rider weight. And then this shock also features a lockout lever, so when you're doing a long road climb, you can reach down there and lock the shock out and have a more efficient experience and then open it back up when you're going back down the hill. Getting back to the setup side of things, our shocks feature sag gradients on the damper body, so you're able to set the sag for your body weight and right away know if you've got the proper amount of sag. And then the other thing that's nice about this is with the O-ring indicator, you're able to see when you've achieved full travel going down the trail. And that really helps to get you into that window of happiness and making sure you're having a balanced front to rear suspension experience. And then another feature that's on the damper body, just like the sag gradients, is the full travel indicator. And that's a nice, uh, that's a nice indicator to have so that as you're riding, you're able to see when you've achieved full travel. The service interval for lubricating the air spring on the shock and the lower leg on the fork are actually the same. So when you get to that 50 hour mark, you can do that service on your fork and your shock really easily. And they use the same grease and pretty similar uh, lower leg oil and the amount of oil in the shock is tiny, but um, it's a similar oil. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for joining us every day, Chris. Thanks for taking us through the rear yeah, suspension. Hey, for the time. Yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.